Georgetown Cruisers Regatta. The week of Georgetown Cruisers Regatta not only includes sailboat races around Stocking Island and back and forth through Elizabeth Harbor, and it also includes some crazy small boat races. So fun! There is a poker run to collect cards at various bars and restaurants. That was just a hoot. Uh, Bill said uh, there's five places you get cards, you come back sober, you lose. <laughs> okay, simple, simple rule. Seven cards, you make oh, a Oh, sad. Oh, everyone's a winner. No, this is not one of those games. Huh? No. <laughs> oh, you need one more spade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Challenge, which is funny beyond words. Each team had to paddle out from shore with one flipper on one hand. Just one. What's our team name? What's our team name? The Beastie Boat. The Beastie Boat. The Beastie Boat. This is my team. Be honest. Stick my ass <laughs> To collect as many coconuts as they could that were floating in the fruit bowl, which is the small body of water behind Volleyball Beach. Just tell me what the rules are. Rules Clear on. are knock everybody out of their boat, yeah. jump in their boat, steal all their coconuts. Cheat, cheat, <laughs> cheat to win. <laughs> Some of us had difficulty getting into the dinghy once it was pushed into the deeper water. Add that to the amount of laughter and it made the launch even harder. 
There was a lot of H2 warfare going on. Some people had water guns and buckets and water cannons. Trouble, trouble, trouble. The second part of the coconut challenge involved tossing the coconut blindly backwards into the garbage bag, which was held by two other team members. Of course they wore helmets. Safety first! What is the name of your team? <laughs> the boat races on Tuesday included paddleboard races for both kids and adults. The small boat races were very cool to watch. These sailors really showed their skills. Hey. Nice. Man, nicely done. The downwind races had some very clever designs. What a riot! It was very clever, very creative. <laughs> I know, original, that's awesome. I myself was in the blindfolded dinghy races. We started out with a really strong start. Ward was amazing at paddling that boat. But I made a bonehead mistake and directed him around the wrong buoy. Nonetheless, it was still a blast. Of course, the winners only worked that hard because of the coveted prize. Rum! What sailor wouldn't work hard for free rum? We tried. We, we did. were the best. We did good. If I had better eyesight, we would have lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. A big fail. Yeah, I think she got paid off. What did I get paid? Somehow I don't have it. I have no idea. My friend, I would just like to thank you. You worked so hard to give us all this fun. I know, but really, you have to have someone to put it together, and I thank you. I really do. Okay, so we do providential hindrance means something blocks you from doing something and it ends up working out for good. Providential upliftance means that something happens that you're never doing but happening that is far beyond the blessing of oh, yeah. normal life. Oh yeah. So no luck involved. Yes. Involved. Yes. Oh, I Thank you for watching our video. I hope you've checked out some of the other ones that we have. We appreciate you coming back and watching more of our fun stories and how-to videos. Please take the time to subscribe to both our YouTube channel and our website, too. Come back again soon. You know you want to.